How you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Shoes Campers of Southern California out of the City of Industry. And today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough tour of our Dominator Camper. So let's get into this, let's get going. So as always, like I like to start, we're gonna start with the front of our Dominator. And as always, we got this great look to it, we got this great view, we have this nice kind of storage toolbox kind of type thing with our angles to it because this box is going to act as our rock guard so anything that's kicked up dirt mud rocks whatever it's going to hit this unit which is going to protect the main part of your camper and it's going to deflect off to the sides as well and then inside this box what we're going to have is we're going to have two propane tanks that are plumbed into the system over here and that's going to be feeding propane to our outdoor kitchen which we'll be seeing a little bit later and then we also have storage room here for two five gallon jerry cans. Now you can use it for uh, gasoline or some type of fuel, or you can even use it for extra water as it may be. But this is our front storage box. On the front tongue over here, again, we have pretty much a lot of the same amenities with a little added um, that you don't typically see on most of our models. But we'll start over here on the far side down here, we have our jockey wheel, our 500 series jockey wheel. And so obviously it's got the wheel to it. We have a block in there to help stabilize it. Um, for more information on the jockey wheel, be sure to check out our library. Our library is gonna have more information, a little more in-depth information on our jockey wheel, but that's gonna move maneuver us and make sure you're not past your line of demarcation when you're moving it. So here on the front, we also have our, our uh, poly block. So that way this is what's gonna allow us to hook up it's gonna allow you to get into those off-road areas, off in those boondock areas, because of our articulating hitch, because we're gonna be able to, to get our twist and torque, because we're gonna be able to get our rise out of it, and because we're also gonna get our pivot from our connection with our Y hitch. We're also gonna have that on our library, so be sure to check out for more information on our library for our polyblock hitch. Here on the front as well, we also have two cables. Our first cable is going to be our seven pin. The seven pin is going to hook into your vehicle. That's going to work the lights on the camper. It's going to work, uh, you know, your turn signals, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we have our Anderson switch. This is a 50 amp plug. And so what you're going to do is uh, you can plug in uh, the unit. This dominator comes with a solar panel. And so the solar panel would actually plug in here. And that's how you're going to be charging your batteries when you're off boondocking and that is also here on the front of the unit we have a handle here so that way when you're moving the unit around you're not grabbing here and pulling you actually have a handle you can kind of pull and move the vehicle around as needed so you can hook it up and then also what you find is our mechanical uh, brake so it's a handbrake it's nice we can set our brakes if you're disconnecting connecting um, this you can control it right here you don't have to worry about trying to throw a chalk in front of a tire because it's rolling too hard or trying to block it. You don't have to do that. You got a brake to help hold it in place while you're trying to hook up or disconnect or whatever the situation may be. It's nice to have that as a convenience. Now, one of the other things here on the front that you don't typically see is our winch. This is not a recovery winch. You don't use this to, to hook up to get something stuck out of the mud. This is for the lid. So what's gonna be happening is this red hook is gonna be hooking to a loop on the very back of the lid, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And what you can do is you're gonna use this ratchet stra ratcheting strap to pull the lid over. So that way, even if you're by yourself, you can get this lid open very easily without too much complications. Now, before we go on to the rest of it, one last thing I wanted to show you here on the tongue is our chains, our recovery chains. Now, when you're, what you're gonna do when you're hooked up is you're gonna take your chains and you're gonna crisscross them. You got one on each side. And so what happens is when they're hooked up to the vehicle, you should crisscross. That way if something happens and this is disconnected, when it drops down, it's gonna catch. Otherwise, if you have them in line, it's gonna drop down and you can see I can make these chains travel a whole lot more. So these are gonna be your recovery chains. Like I said, you wanna make sure you have them crisscrossed when you hook them up. So here around the corner, this is the first compartment. This is gonna be the entry side of the camper, and this is gonna be the driver's side of your vehicle. And so in this first compartment, um, there's actually a vent on the door. This is the cover for the vent. So as you open up, you can see the vent fan here. 
So we'll draw the air, filter out the air. It's got a little filter on the other side. It's got a vent on the other side as well, and I'll draw the air through. But this is a nice, really big cabinet. If you take a look, you can see just how deep and far back in there it goes. And we have this really nice drawer. And you can fit a lot of large things in here. You can fit a, a, a large refrigerator, um, or you can fit a large cooler. And so your spacing, you're looking at a 39 by 24 inch drawer, and you got about 20 inches worth of height to, to lead with. So you have quite a bit of room that you can play with. And again, that's going from the depth of this drawer up to this point here. Now you can also see there's a few items here in this unit. So for instance, this is a unit cover. So you'd have a, a cover that would go over this entire unit when you have a park maybe. Um, in the box right here, the box here on the bottom, there is a solar panel. This is your portable solar panel that's gonna plug into your Anderson on the plug, like I mentioned. Now, if you also have some, some inquiries about the, the solar panels and how they work, we also have another video in our library dealing with the solar panels, and inverters, and stuff like that. So you can take a look at that. We got a, a fire extinguisher, we have a wrench, so that way we can raise and lower the legs, which we're gonna be talking about in a second here when I show you the legs. We have our Y hitch, so this is what's gonna to hook to your vehicle. This would hook to where like normally the ball would fit to. This would fit to that and bolt down to it, and this would attach right here. Now again, for more information in our library, we're gonna have a poly block video. So make sure you check out the poly block video to get more information on how this is all set up and how this all works. We also have spare bearings. We have a, I'll show you here, this is kind of cool. We have an air bleed down kit, it's kind of cool. I always love the color of that, it's a really neat little unit. We have a portable shower right here. We also have, it's, it's in a bag, but here in this box, we actually have um, a spare light. So these are spare LED lights, and these will actually plug into the cigarette lighters. So on the other side or towards the rear, we actually have um, with the kitchen, we actually have a 12 volt plug. So this could fit plug into there, um, or you could plug in another light inside, whichever you'd like to do. Um, and then in the red box right there, we also have a tire repair kit. I realize and I know that Black Series, we put two full size spare tires on the rear of this unit, but you never know, it's always nice to have something to be able to repair any punctures you may have in tires so you can still get out of whatever situation you're in. So this is our front drawer. Let me close this up. So what I also want you to see, because in this front area, because like I said, you can't put a refrigerator in here. And if you look just inside here, you see there's a 12 volt plug right here. So that would allow you to plug in a refrigerator there. Now the vent that's on the door would also help not only with like dust and stuff like that in the compartment, but it would help draw heat out of this compartment that might build up from a plugged-in refrigerator. Now, the next compartment we're gonna come to is a much smaller door, much smaller compartment, but I just wanna point out something really quick, is the angle to this door. It's a little bit different. You might say, well, why not square this off? Well, the reason why is when we open this lid, this, uh, this shock right here is gonna be right here across that. So that way, when you have the lid open, you still have access to this compartment. So when you look in, you have a couple of things here. One, you're gonna have a bag filled with all of the poles that you're gonna to need to support the tent inside, to build out your awning, to build on your annex room. All the poles are gonna be in this bag, and this is a solid shelf that goes to the other side. So this is the front side of the bag. There's also a pull-out drawer so the pull-out drawer comes out, and it's a pretty decent drawer. It's, it's about the same length, or it is the same length as the other compartment, obviously not as wide, it is as deep. Um, but you can store things in here, you can put um, seasonings in here, so that way when you're cooking, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it, obviously it's a storage compartment. Now the nice part is, there's another compartment or another drawer, same size on the other side. So I'll be showing you that in a minute. But one of the most important pieces of information you're gonna find in this unit is gonna be right here on this door. Take a look right there and you have your pole guide. Now the pole guide, obviously, like I said, is going to be for building out your unit. So I'm just gonna point here, if we can kind of keep the camera on there. So the black poles indicate the poles that are used inside the unit to build the actual tent area. So these poles are connected, those are already there, but these support poles, the two number sevens and then two number sevens, those are gonna be in this bag, and so we have to get those out to build up our tent as a support. 
This long one right here is inside, but if you notice, there's a little 14 pole and a 14 pole. Now the numbers may not always be the same. It may be in, in different tent units, they may be different numbers, but for this particular model, this is what it is, sevens and 14s. The 14s are gonna go in the very corner to help lift this area up. And then you see some little red ones here. You see eight and a zero and an eight. And these are gonna to be to create your windows. You can be supporting your windows. Um, and then these red ones right here, you see, this is gonna be the build out for your annex. So when you're building your awning, so these are your awning poles, awning pole, awning pole, awning pole. So, but this is what you can need to build on your awning and to build and attach your room for the annex. So this is again, a very important piece of information. So that way, when you're gonna be building out your unit, this is where you're gonna find that. So as we move along from that other cabinet, we have our entry door. So we have two locks on it, but as you can see, when the lid is closed, this door is pretty well secured because the shock goes right across it. So unless they're like taking stuff apart, you're not gonna be able to get in here. So that's one of the nice parts. As we come along, we have a couple of pins. So one pin you can see is holding the lid down, and then the other pin is actually holding the rack down. Now the rack, you can carry, now it says here maximum load 100 kilograms, which equals out to about 240 pounds. So you don't wanna put it all in one place, you wanna distribute your weight, okay? So that way you have it spread out, you're not causing any damage or any issues um, with the vehicle while you're going down the road. But 240 pounds of distributed weight on the lid. As we're coming along, um, we have a floodlight here. Um, that's gonna be your kind of work light area for our kitchen, because we have our kitchen area right here. We also have our full-size tires. We got our uh, 265, 75, 16 tires that um, we have on both sides, as well as two full-size spares. And as we're coming back here, we also come into our kitchen area. And so our kitchen is gonna be nice. The Dominator is gonna be the first one that's gonna have our kitchen. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our kitchen out here. And so that way you can see what we're looking at. So as we pull the kitchen out, it comes out, now there is a support leg. You're gonna have a support leg that's gonna help raise this, stabilize it. We have our propane burner stove. And then as we go along, as we get into the other areas here, we have our light. And the light, the plug for the light is gonna plug in. And I'm gonna show you right over here. These two small plugs over here is gonna, they're gonna control two different things. One plug is gonna be for the electric start on the propane stove. The other plug is gonna turn on the light. And then this is just an extra 12 volt plug. And that's where I mentioned that LED light earlier that comes with it. With our, with our sink, the sink is gonna, the faucet's gonna lift up like that when you need it in use. When you're done with it, you're gonna push this away. Make sure you push this back down. There is a hose that comes out the base because this is a gravity drain. So there is no gray tank. You just have a fresh water tank. And the Dominator has 35 gallon tank. It's a stainless steel tank and that's located underneath. And so you can see you'll have the hoses coming out of it. You can see the drain plug on it. And so that's where you're gonna be getting your water source from, from your 35 gallon tank, which is really nice on this tent unit. Now we're also gonna have a hose. We have a, a gas line hose that comes out the rear. And so the gas line hose is gonna go underneath and it's gonna plug into with a quick connect underneath the unit on this side of the Dominator. So as we come around to the back and we start getting into our spare tires, we have a cover that goes around it. And on the cover, we have our lights. Now the way to open up this cover is you have these clips. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. We already moved the one, but you just pull this down, ah, remove this clip, this comes off, this slides out, and then this is gonna open up. It'll swing open, and this allows you access to your spare tires. Now, as I'm back here with our full-size spare tires, just want to point out the length of our unit. Now, the length of our unit is measured from the front of the poly block to the rear of the tires, and so that's going to bring in a length of about 17.4 feet, so a little over 17 feet. Width-wise, this is 5.8 inches wide, so almost 6 feet wide, but obviously less than 6. So you have some good width to it, you have some good length to it. And so that's one of the great things about this unit. Now, dry weight on this unit is gonna be 1,977 pounds. And max weight that you can carry with this unit is 4,400 pounds. So you, you still get a lot of great weight. You got a lot of great features going with this unit. 
and by way of length and width and height and size and how much it can carry. And so that's one of the nice things. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up here real quick, or at least fold this back over and show you our lights. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of pick this up a little bit, set it back in there, and then the pins will go back in place. But as we come around and we look, we have our lights. And so we have our stop lights, we have our turn signal, and we have our ever popular reverse light. Again, not a lot of trailers out within the RV community have a reverse light. So it makes it really nice in those dark back road areas when you go into reverse for whatever reason, you have some lighting to see where you're going, which makes it really nice. And then of course we have a uh, license plate light right here that would be going there as well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep going around the corner and keep looking the rest. So as we come around the corner here, one of the first things that you see is this very large recovery winch, just like we saw on the very front of it as well. We have this red hook. Now this red hook is gonna hook onto a loop that's along the front side of this door right here. Actually, I'll show you this one right here. But if you remember, way back at the beginning, I showed you the strap that's on the front of the unit. And I did mention there was a hook for that one as well. And so that's what's gonna go right here. Now, just to point out, as long as I'm standing here, I also wanna point out there's a lock right here. So when you are going to be deploying your tent trailer, don't forget this lock. Here's another lock right here. Some people don't realize there's one right here in the rear. Now, as long as I'm also back here, I'd like to take this time to point out what we got underneath. At the very back of the unit, we have two recovery hooks. They get about 9,000 pounds worth of force that can be applied to them. Now, we don't want you getting stuck, but if something happens, we want you to be able to hook into a correct position. And so that's what the recovery hooks are for. So you're not hooking into a frame, you're not hooking onto like a water tank or something like that. But we have the water tanks under there. We already talked about the water tank. But we also, also want to take the time to point out the suspension. This is what makes a Black Series camper a Black Series camper. The heavy duty suspension, independent swing arms, heavy duty coil springs, limiting chains, so that way it limits the amount of travel so it's not gonna come apart. We have all of these, these opponents in place, including dual shocks, two shocks on each swing arm. And that's gonna give your unit a nice smoother ride and help to protect the unit, not make it you know, rattle apart or break or something because it is going to be giving you that smoother ride. Again, this is what makes us, us. This is what makes Black Series, Black Series. This is what's gonna get you into those boondocking areas, off-road, into the back areas, BLM land, wherever you're gonna go, this is what's gonna take you there. So here at the rear corner, we have a compartment. So I'm gonna open up this compartment. And there's a couple things in here. Now typically, this is where the handle gets stored for the winch, okay? So the handle's there. So make sure you don't leave this on here um, while you're traveling. You wanna make sure you take it off, put it in here, or whatever compartment you wanna put it in. But that goes here. But if you also look inside, we have a 20 amp battery charger. So that is technically a trickle charger. We utilize AGM, two AGM gel batteries in this unit. And so what happens is they like a slower trickle charge. They're not into bulk fast charging. They like the trickle charge. And that's why we have the charger here. As we're going along, we have the backside of our rack. So we talked about this. So it's got shocks. So you have the shocks that are gonna assist it. You have a bracket arm that's gonna help lock it in place when you do open this up. You have some more pins. And then what you're gonna have right here is your city water. Now it says city water connection. This is actually your city water fill. There's no city water connection on the tent units. And so again, 35 gallons worth of water. You're gonna fill into here. You're gonna have your water in your stainless steel tank. As we're coming forward, we're coming forward, we get into our control panel. So with our control panel, there's several switches. This switch turns on the fridge. Now, if you remember, in that front compartment on the other side, there was that 12 volt switch. That's gonna turn on the fridge. There's a plug that is inside. This is going to turn that on. This is your pump. I'm not gonna turn that one on. I don't wanna run the pump dry. This is the light. So there's lights that are, uh, you can turn on that are inside. There's LED lights inside the unit, as well as that floodlight that's outside that I pointed out earlier. So you flip on this switch so you can activate those. Turn those on. And then you have the instrument panel. So yes, there's even a separate switch to turn on the instrument panel. So you can see all the different things here. Here's your water gauge for your tow vehicle, uh, you know, the fuse for it how many volts, how many amps, um, you know, the percentage of the battery, 
you have two 12 volt plugs here um, and then you have a fuse for the control panel and these all right here these are breakers so if you pop one of the switches here this is going to be the breaker that you're going to use to reset it now as we keep coming forward again we have the second side of our compartment here i'm going to open this up now there is a phenomena it's a worldwide phenomena you're not going to see anywhere else on the other side we saw the front side of the pole bag here i show you the rear side of the pole bag nowhere else will you see this in the world except here at black series the back side of a pole bag you've seen it here today folks so we also have another pull-out drawer. Pull-out drawer is the same as the other one on the other side. Same depth, same length, same width, same all that stuff right here. So you have your drawer for this, for storage. And again, you can use it for whatever storage you need to use it for. And last but not least, our very last cabinet over here. It's another cabinet, same size. You get that same height, 20 inches. It's not quite as deep. Um, it does have a pull-out drawer. So you pull out the drawer, get that cut. And so in this drawer is actually, this is a rack. This is a, a dish rack. It's gonna go with your kitchen. This will slide onto the back of it for your dish rack. I'm gonna set this right here very gently, very quickly. And then we also have a portable toilet that comes with the units as well. So as you can see, this drawer is not obviously as deep. It's not as deep in there, but it's still a very large compartment. You got 20 inches of height on it in it. Um, but it's still a decent compartment for storing this or whatever things you want to store in here. But this is going to be the last and the, and the, the next ones in our compartment series. So now we have the entire unit set up. So if we take a look at it, we can see how we have everything set in place. And one of the features that I, I'd like to point out, because I love to change, is this side unit. This is one of my favorite features of all of our tent units and that's this wall right here now we have obviously a window we got a screen all that fun stuff it attaches and everything but the best part for me that i like is if you undo this zipper here and you undo this zipper under here and you disconnect it undo your buttons you flip this up you flip that up you can kind of fold it in half a little bit make your rolling a little less than what you have to then what you do is you roll this whole thing up, this entire wall. This will go up here, and then I'll latch it. I'm gonna latch this first one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish attaching all of these straps right here, and then we're gonna have this nice large window right here. So we'll finish getting it tacked up, and then we'll come back. So here, now that I've had all of the straps put in place, and attached with the door as well. We have this opening here. We have this massive space. I mean, you look at it, we're just, we got like six feet, about six feet worth of opening. And so you just look at, and so wherever, wherever you're parked, if you can just imagine, you'll know, have a, a stream behind you or a forest behind you or, or some beautiful desert, wherever you're at, you got this massive window, this picture window, where you can see wherever you're at. And again, that's where we come into with Black Series and our ability to help you reimagine your destination because the beautiful destinations that you can view with such a window such as this. So one of the things that we want to make sure that we're always doing is keeping things in mind that when we hook up, because here's where we're going to be hooking up our annex and our awning. So when you hook up our awning or you're going to come out here, again, you have this massive area. When you hook up our annex room, Again, you leave this open, we have this massive area and it really helps to open up this living space. It makes it feel, instead of being a, a small tent trailer, it, it really it creates an even larger feeling than what you already have. You have quite a bit of space inside, but now you have even more. So let's take a look about what we have inside. So first thing, right as you come in the door, I wanna point out that there's a couple switches right here. Now this first switch, I click that on, and that's gonna turn on your LED light in your, uh, your gathering area, like your table area. The second switch is gonna turn on the LED over in your sleeping area, the big queen bed area back over there. And then, and that'll give you your lighting there. And there you do see there are switches that are coincide with that. And then the third switch, this one right here, you have an entry light. You have an entry light here that it turns on. And you'll also notice 
I mentioned there's this little floodlight, which I pointed out a little bit earlier. This is your work area light for your kitchen. So your floodlight comes on. So those are your switches and the lights that they turn on. So we're gonna turn those off and we're gonna step inside. So now we're inside and I'm sitting in the, the seating area, um, which essentially this is where you're gonna be putting your table. And I'll show you that in a second here. Putting your table here, uh, setting here, eating here, playing card games here. This is your family gathering area. And this is also gonna be your other sleeping area in amongst the queen size bed. But I just wanted to show the compartments here. So if I lift up this pad here, we have a door here and I lift this up. And so in our compartment here, there is a bag and you can see there's some storage in here. And I'll show you what's inside the bag really quick here. So inside this bag is gonna be our guidelines. So there's a few items in here that go along with um, securing a lot of the awnings, the window shades, stuff like that. So we have our windows, we have tent stakes. Now, one of the other key features um, that I like to point out, just to be on the safe side, is when you're setting up your annex room, um, there are uh, uh, elastic bands with a hook, so that way you would hook this, the awning, to the pole, so that way it doesn't blow away. So there are spare ones, just in case. But the other piece I wanna point out is this little plastic cover right here. And so the on the annex poles, it is a straight pole, and so once the tent goes over the top of that, you can still possibly get water inside your annex. So you use this cover piece, this is very tightly over the pole, and then it creates a barrier, so that way if it is raining, the water comes down, hits this, and goes off rather than going down the pole. So that's what this is, and you're gonna find it in this mesh bag that's inside this gray bag. Um, you know, possibly it's usually underneath the seat here, I believe, that's where they usually get shipped at, but that's one, one area. On the other side over here, we do have the, another drawer. We got this one here, let me get this open. And if you look in here, here's where you're gonna find your batteries. This is gonna be your battery access. So we have two AGM batteries with 100 amp hours a piece, and you can see these are secured down so that way they're not bouncing around when you're off in those off-road adventures. Right behind it here, we have our 1000 watt um, inverter. Uh, so that way you can run your plugs, run your wiring, stuff like that. Um, and you have power going into your unit. Um, you have a couple of breakers right here. And then you can see right here, the clear tube. The clear tube is your fill tube. So remember you have that 35 gallon water tank. That's your fill tube for the tank. And the blue tube that you see, that's actually a vent tube that's gonna be coming off of that. And then in the next compartment right here, that's our drawer. Now you, there is a pool drawer that comes out the front, um, but you can also access it from the top. And then you can see that's actually the backside of the, um, the, the panel that works everything. All of your switch panel, that's gonna be your backside of it. So you can access it if need be. Now, right here on the front of this, you do see there is another 12 volt plug. This is like your lighter style plug. And then below that, there is a dual port USB plug. Now, as you travel along right here, you see this wooden, this raised lip. Now, this raised lip is where you're going to set the table to create a bed area in this area, okay? And again, I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Now, where I'm sitting, if you look at where I am, I'm on this long bench, and this will eventually, like I said, make a bed. Now, the covers for this bench does open up, and what the covers actually are covering is the pull-out kitchen. This is gonna be the storage area for that pull-out kitchen. So here we have the table in place. And like I said, this is where you're gonna be, uh, you know, sitting for eating, um, gathering, maybe playing card games, whatever it is you're gonna do. And the table, I have it set up this way, in this angle. Um, it is adjustable, you can raise it. Um, you can't lower it anymore, this is the lowest setting. It's, it's about right, good, okay, right here. I can probably raise it up a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but as you can see, like I said, the angle it's at is in use this way. We're gonna be flipping it a different direction to help create the bed. So I'm gonna pick this up real quick. And so I'm gonna flip this over. Now, what I wanna show is there's a difference in the legs. So if you look very closely, you can see there's a gap right here. And if you look on the other side, there is no gap. So this indicates to me that this is the set that's going to fold down first. 
Now, one of the other features, like I said, this is adjustable. It has a wing nut on it, so that way the leg can raise and lower and then tighten, so that way it won't move anywhere, but that's for our adjustable leg. But to create a bed in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and pull on this. I'm at a bad angle right here. There we go. So we get this pulled down. We got that lowered down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower this one. And so you can see, because I folded this one first and this one second, this folds flat, okay? Now, to make the bed, we're gonna flip this over. And like I said, there is a wood strip. There's a wood strip here, and there's a wood strip here, and there's a wood strip here. And so you're going to set the lip, the edge of the table on the wood strip. So you might have to lift the pad up to get it out of the way. And so now you can see we have the table set on the wood strip. So what you do is you take your pads, your short pads, your back pads, you place them here. Now you have this whole area as a bed. And again, with this unit, with the Dominator tent camper, this sleeps four people. So you can fit four people, or excuse me, not four people here. You can fit two people here, okay? Um, or if you have several little kids, you can fit several little kids along in here. Um, but essentially it is made for two people, like two adults. So you have two people here. And then from there, you're gonna come over here to the larger bed. Now the larger bed, you're gonna have uh, it's a, more closer to a queen size bed and you're gonna fit two large adults up here on this bed Now you see some straps that come across here The straps are in place to help hold this mattress pad in place because this is the lid you can hear I'll even flip this up and show you you can see here's where the lid is Here's the hinge where this is gonna fold over so what's gonna happen is when you're done This is gonna flip back so we don't want the mattress pad to fall off so we have the straps in place. So if you're using like say sleeping bag or bedding, whatever you have on here, the straps will help to hold everything in place as you close it back up. So there you have it everybody, the full walkthrough of the Dominator Tent Camper. I hope this answered all of your questions. Hopefully you're able to see everything that you wanted to see. If you have any questions, be sure to send us an email at info at blackseriescamper.com. Be sure to access our library on YouTube so you can see all of our walkthrough videos, uh, including for our, our solar and our jockey wheel and any other explanation you need. And again, if we don't have those answers there, send us an email, info at blackseriescamper.com. Again, this is Jim Buck, Black Series Campers of Southern California, out of the city of industry with the Dominator Tent Camper, saying take care, everybody. We'll see you out there. How you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Series Campers of Southern California out of the city of industry. And we hope that you enjoyed the last video of a series that we just got finished watching. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to ask to make sure that you please like and subscribe to our channel so that way you can see all of the videos that are coming up in our series. So make sure that you get out there, you smash that bell up in that corner up there. And again, this is Jim Buck with Black Series Camper. So we hope you enjoyed that video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.